here! It's okay. The star's here. Are you lost? Or on drugs? I'm here for the fire marshal video. Which role are you playing? Billy. Captain Billy is a 75-year-old retired fire captain with real experience. Let's go talk to Charlotte. Well, he's breathing like he's 75. Dewey. Yo, Michael. What's going on, man? Do you want to get some pizza tonight? Dewey, the casting's for 65-year-old. Look, I may not have read the entire casting call. Just quickly grow some facial hair or something. I don't even want to be an actor. Dewey, listen. Hey, Dewey, if you don't pay rent, I cut off your penis. Chop, chop. I don't even like acting. You said this was easy money. Michael, just find us a way to make some money, OK? Pizza at 8 o'clock tonight. Dewey. Hi, I'm Charlotte. Michael. Do you have any firefighting experience? I do. Great, come with me. So, this is Derek Anderson. He's a real life firefighter, which I'm sure you know from his professional videos. Nice to meet you, Michael. Michael. Man, good to have you, good to have you. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna show you how to use this fire extinguisher, okay? So we're gonna pick it up, just like this. We're gonna pull the pin. We're going to squeeze, ha <laughs> Just like you got a woman in your hands, OK? Just like that. <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> we'll work on that. OK, so when I call action, you are going to talk to camera, and you are going to take the fire extinguisher and squeeze. All right, people, roll up. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, just a quick question. Uh, when you say fire extinguisher, you mean the garden hose, right? Because I couldn't see well, one. Right. I have the garden hose, <laughs> but that's another topic. Hey, okay. I do not have time for jokes. All right, first position. Hey, bro, I'm gonna get you ready. All right, come walk with me. All right. And action. My name is Derek Anderson, and I work for the Beverly Hills Fire Department. And we're going to show you how you put out your work colleagues if they're on fire. I have the pleasure of working with Billy Garcia. We are lucky enough to have him here with us. He has six decades of experience in fire. And uh, he's going to help put out Meg. And uh, we're so appreciative to have him here. So first of all, we're going to start with picking up the fire extinguisher, OK? We're going to pick it on up. And then we're going to take that clip right on out. And after we take that, that clip out, we're going to squeeze. And we're going to squeeze. And we're going to squeeze. Ah, and that's how we're going to do it. Hey, your third oh, pizza. Yeah. God, it's been so busy today at the office. You know how it is. Yeah, I bet that TV doesn't turn itself on and off. Hey, well, you know, my scooter broke as well. Great. So. Hey. This better be about food, Dewey. If you and I were dating, would I get free food at this restaurant? Dewey, I want to say this once and once only. OK. I would rather stick every part of your broken scooter up my ass than go on a date with you. OK? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Leave a big tip. What? Uh, Michael, what are you doing? That was going so well. Do you know how many pizzas I ate to get the courage to talk to her? She was going to say yes. Yeah. Well, the fire marshal video didn't go well either. I sent an 81-year-old lady to the hospital. What? Was she robbing you? No. And my battery died on the way there trying to give the ambulance directions. Well, good news. We have a stray cat staying at the apartment. Really? That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We just got to make sure we leave the front door open so he can go out in case he wants to. What, what about our stuff? I said he's welcome to anything we got, but I doubt he's interested, so. What do you idiots do this time? 
I, um, I just shouted an old lady's pelvis. But you know what? She really enjoyed the attention in that ambulance ride. Oh, maybe it's the old lady from the hospital ringing to say thank you. <laughs> My guess is that attorney from that old lady. Yeah, all that. Hi, Michael. It's Bridget. I really want to talk to you. Please call me. Michael, with the wedding next week, I really need to talk to you. Michael, just answer your phone, damn it. We have a son together. <sighs> Call me back. I love you. Wait, Michael, who's Bridget? Bridget was the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. We dated for two weeks in senior high. Dude, you should call her back. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Uh, it's a private number. Dude, she was so hot. I mean, I... <laughs> I used to just watch her from behind the lockers, behind the trees. I mean, I couldn't even go to gym practice because I'd think of Bridget Van Ryan, like. You're sick. What happened to her? She moved to Sydney, Australia after senior high. What's her last name? Bridget Van Ryan. Oh. What, well, is that her? Oh, wow. She's even hotter than before. Man, it's like gym practice all over again. Well, Bridget Van Ryan, the former model, and now the best-selling author. My kid must be eight years old now. I wish I had a kid, Michael. Do you think my kid's name's Mike J? Yeah, like Michael, because your name's Michael. Yeah, like, because I'm big and he's small, like little Mike. Little Michael. Yeah. What's up, Dewey? Hey. Oh. What's up, Michael? Hey. You guys got to go. You're scaring my customers away. Did you hear, though? Michael's got a kid and Bridget's in love with him. Yeah. We have to go to Australia. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Yeah, OK, I can't. Just now. Why not? I have an erection thinking about Bridget again. You guys got two seconds before I kick both of your asses. OK. OK, yeah, let's go. We'll go. That's the kitchen, idiots. Oh. Oh, right. Oh. Mm, we'll oh. go this way. Silly up here. Are you Dean? No. I'm program director Marissa Vanderbilt. We want to go to school here. What are you planning to focus on? The student exchange program to Sydney, Australia. Uh, it says fees are due at the end of the term. The fees are due at the end of each semester, and that's for second year students only. And that's once you've been selected. <sighs> There's an application process, so we need to see your previous work. Well, Michael, he, uh, he has experience. He burned down a set yesterday, yeah, so. Set fire. Well. Oh. Oh. Anyway. Anyway, Richard, hey. my two favorite Malibu students and Hollywood's next big directors. Oh. 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 I have photocopies of your passports and your itinerary for you. Tomorrow, they're flying out to Sydney, Australia to film a new TV commercial for Wing Mill Restaurants. Excuse me. Oh. I think my penis is cramped. I know what you mean. You talk to them. No, you talk to them. You talk to them. Dude, I'm not good with guys. You talk to them. You talk to them. Dude, I'm gross. You talk to them. I'm only good at talking to girls. You go. Fine. <clears throat> hey, man, the old lady said you're going to Sydney. Yeah, we're not going there. We're getting paid 100 k to shoot a new commercial. And we're using that as our graduation work. Do you need companionship? Hey, OK, listen up, losers, OK? It's clear you're not going to make it past the application process, OK? So what are you doing? This guy looks like he's sharing his clothes with a, uh, with a cat. <clears throat> what a free thing. Hey, the cat has a name, Spaceship. Yeah. And I know your name, good-looking pony fucker. Oh, ouch. Ow. <laughs> Look, you're clearly not from Malibu or Beverly Hills, OK? You drive a hopeless car, and you have zero film connections. <laughs> I mean, what? These guys <laughs> What are you doing? Cat hair on their jackets. 
This is hilarious. Ever heard of a, of a dry cleaner? Hey, you don't take a cat to a dry cleaner. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, idiot. idiot. Yeah. yeah, liquor. Yeah. Incest. Face. Yeah. You have sex with that old lady, too. Yeah. With a pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that pumpkin gets fucked all the time. Enough. Leave right now or I'll call security. Just leave. I am disgusted by your language. Sorry, Dean. Don't come back. You're not welcome here anymore. Never go home. Well, that sucked. Would you really rather hang out in a car park than go home? We don't want to disturb the cat. He just moved in. Do you want to see me do a jump? No, I'm okay. Thanks. I'm trying to figure out how to get to Sydney, Australia. Right, to see that girl. Hmm, Dante mentioned it. Why did she break up with you anyway? It's my final year in high school. I'd been going steady with Bridget for 21 days and was about to propose. It was a beautiful summer night. I remember walking along Santa Monica Pier. Bridget looked incredible. But she kept dropping hints that she was going to break up with me. She said she was moving to Sydney, Australia. I wasn't her type. I was immature. So I panicked. And I offered her an ultimatum. I said, if you marry me tonight, we can play arcade games. But if you dump me, then I will never speak to you ever again. She dumped me immediately. <laughs> Let me see if I've got this straight. You think that after eight years and that incident, that you're just going to go to Australia and she's going to still be in love with you? It's pretty obvious. Yeah, I think it's romantic. Thank you. And she and the program didn't work out, though. We went to SCOA today, and we met these snobby rich kids who were going to Australia on an exchange program, but when we asked them if we could come, they just insulted us. Yeah. Snobby rich kids didn't like you? Teased you because you didn't come for money? Yeah. yeah. Don't touch me. I'm gonna kick myself for saying this, but why don't you just ask Tiffany to put your name on the exchange program list? Shouldn't be too hard for her to hack into the school system and do it for you. No way. Why? She's a coder. She goes to the top IT school in California. Her coding, her scholarship, none of this rings a bell. Didn't you date her, Michael? I thought she was a garbage man. No. Look, I overheard her saying that she needs some place for her dad to stay when he comes and visits her in LA, and she doesn't want him to stay at the share house, so... She's pretty desperate. <laughs> Probably desperate enough to help you two bozos. If she puts your name on the exchange program list and you let her use your house for her dad when he comes, maybe that'll work out. Yeah, because then we could go to Sydney, Australia, and I could see Bridget and my son. Look, why don't you just ask her? <sighs> oh. See ya. Bye. Bye. Hey, Tiffany, oh. we got to yeah. ask you something. Yeah. What do idiots want this time? Um, it involves your dad, your bed, and a cat. I'm Jason, your contact here in Sydney. Are you lost too? No smart ass. You know when you ping a location, you're supposed to stay put, right? Not travel off two kilometers from the bloody airport. You're Mr. Jason. Well, why didn't you just tell us? 
Do you know Bridget Van Ryan? Yeah. No, I don't. We came here looking for her, too. That's great. Do you just want to get in the car? OK, yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh. Are you OK, Dewey? Yeah. OK. Come on. You know, I've been traveling around for 45 minutes looking for you guys. And, mate, you can put this in. What am I, your slave? Oh, wow. Holy God. It's like Hollywood. Mate, mate, pull your head in this not a cattle truck, truck, mate. You know what? I'm going to have a smoke before I go. You guys have had me running around for 45 minutes. You know, I graduated in SCOA in 04. Top of the class. Marissa was a good friend of mine, so naturally when she said two of her finest students were in Sydney filming, I was only happy to help as alumni. So does Marissa talk about me? I mean, <laughs> does she talk about me to other students at the school? Yeah, I mean, she says you're tall. Yeah, she thinks you're really cute. What? Yeah, um, yeah. And she wants you to send her naked photographs. She's waiting for you to make the first move. Yeah, especially the ones of you when you're naked and masturbating on the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't act anymore on bodyguards. I mean, I've got this security company here in Sydney and I'm making millions. So Tony King, how's he doing? Oh, great guy. Yeah. Man. No, he's well. Yeah. He's a prick. <laughs> you know, Almost killed that guy once. Good thing about uh, having your own security company is you can look up just about anything on anyone. And yeah, I found out a lot about Tony, and well, let's just say I've taken things into my own hands. Did you say Tony or Pony? Yeah, I heard Pony. Yeah. Uh... Mm. Mr. Pony. Mr. Pony. <laughs> okay. No worries. Um, I'm just going to get going, eh? This is Richard. Hi, I'm Richard. Hi. You're a good looking Mrs. Jason. Uh, Jason Taylor. <laughs> nice sure. to meet you. Hi. This is my mum, Maddie. She really wanted to be here to welcome you guys. Great to meet you, Maddie. Lovely. I'm a hugger. Oh, hi. Oh. Jordan, mm. someone special. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, so am I. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, lovely. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, aren't you sticky like an Oompa Loompa from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, should we all get a photo all the way from Malibu? Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. do that. Hun, do you want to take it or do you want to be in it? I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Up close. One, two. So we've made a beautiful meal for you. Uh, we'll see you for dinner at 6.30. Sounds oh, okay. great. Okay. Yeah, it sounds great. Great. You make yourself at home. Oh, we will. Are you coming, honey? Jason lacks confidence with photography. Do you think Rachel's single? Yeah. Jason, oh. you are really good at photography. This is a Malibu. So don't piss me off. Get it? Mm -hmm. Jason! Coming, honey. Dude, would you just relax? Look, it's only a matter of time before Detective Hardass in there figures this out. I mean, he knew we were lying about the Tony guy. Em, did you not see the two hot babes inside before? And look at the free food. Look at the free booze, Michael. Aren't you worried? Worried about what? Did you not see the way Rachel was looking at me before? I think there's something going on there. 
What Rach and Dewey. No. Dewey and Rach. What are you talking about? You missed our moment at the door earlier. I think she might be the one, Michael. It's obvious I'm more attractive to women in Australia than I am in America. Dewey, what moment are you talking about, okay? It, we're here to find Bridget, and it was the really hot grandma in there that pinched my ass. <laughs> wow. You get all the girls, Michael. Bridget, Dewey, I came here to get Bridget. Okay, Bridget. But until Tiffany sends us more information tonight, let's just relax, man. We're on holiday. Come on. Hey, I got you one of Jason's beers. Take it. Thanks. Yeah. Big bite. It's me, Michael, your best friend. The President of the United States wants you to sing him happy birthday. Happy birthday! Dude, you were right all along. I do have a micro penis. Wow. Thanks for being honest. <gasps> Hello, Dewey. Hi, Maddie. You and I both know that you want my Rachel. I, I can't. Oh, oh, oh. Is that right? <sighs> Yeah. Can you be the man my Rachel needs you to be? Can you Hulk up? I have all the incredible Hulk figurines at home. Put this on. OK. I think we should go and check on dinner. Yes. I think something might be burning. <laughs> Your house is looking disgusting. Mum! So who are these boys again? Oh, Jason's old film school. They thought it was a good idea that the boys stay here when they're in Australia. I'm doing them a favour, Maddie. Mm. Oh, well, how long does it take to get changed anyway? I hope no one's vegan. Come on. This ain't no Malibu fancy restaurant, is it? Sit down. Sorry, Mr. Chasen. Sit down. Have some bloody respect to both of you. So it must have been really exciting living in Los Angeles. Did, did you guys meet anyone famous? Yeah, I dated a celebrity. No, not true. Really? Who? I dated Ellen. DeGeneres? <laughs> yeah. Isn't she gay? Just one of the many reasons why this isn't true. This was a long time ago. But, yeah, we were a good couple. Dude, it wasn't Ellen. Why do you have to rag on me all the time? I'm just saying it wasn't Ellen DeGeneres. 
Interesting, she's not as tall as she looks on TV. That's because it wasn't Ellen DeGeneres. Like you would know. She worked on Sunset as an impersonator. <laughs> she told me she was researching the show. Don't you think it was kind of weird she used to live in a studio apartment in Inglewood and used to ask us for gas? All right, Mike, oh my God. <clears throat> you always have to make it so uncomfortable, don't you? We can't all be good looking male models like you, can we, Michael? You have no idea what it's like to be single for 10 years and masturbate constantly. You have no idea the sheer pressure you face after dating a huge celebrity. God! Oh, Richard, honey. I'm just letting go, hon. Richard, honey, we want to hear about your experiences. Come back. Richard. Well, I guess we've all learned something. He's got one skill, professional masturbator. Come in handy on a resume. This would never have happened at your brother's house. Or maybe you could go back to his place for dinner. Maybe we should retire to the other room with a bottle of wine. Why don't you keep going to the front door? Oh. Jeez. Look, Michael, I've done everything possible I can. But the only thing I could find is their OPR agency name, nothing else. You call them tomorrow, and you ask where the address is. <sighs> What's what wrong are with these? That? Huh? I found it under your bed, huh? Not Asian Not women, mine. lesbian sex photo. When, when did you become a lesbian, huh? No, it's huh? not mine. This one, huh? Uh, jelly resting for old men, it's huh? It's not Jelly, mine. they are for eating, not for wrestling. Oh, Tiffany, mine hello, hello? Not mine. Trust me, I can explain, okay? Tiff what can you explain? Hello, Tiffany, I can't uh, hear you. I got this, this is evidence. Wish me luck, Michael. I can't put this off any longer. Dewey! Dewey! You did say three o'clock, didn't you? He better be here at three. <clears throat> Jason, can we have a talk in the kitchen? In private. He will. We'll need the money. Oh, I think he's come to apologize. Go and talk to him. Good news, Go on. Maybe he's gonna say that he's leaving. Tell the old man. Mm. Maybe. Be nice. What, what, what you... No, what kind of language is that? Yeah, but for Waldo, what about Waldo? He's, He's hoping out. out. <laughs> Would well, you like a drink? No, okay. I think we both know why I'm here. Why don't you enlighten me? Well, I think it's pretty obvious that um, Rachel has feelings for me. I mean, ever since I got here, she's been looking at me, and I think you've seen her look at me, too, so. I'd still like to be friends, though, Jason. Friends? Uh-huh. I promise you I'll take real good care of Tommy. Oh, and we should probably talk about Tommy, Rachel, Maddie, and I when we go back to Los Angeles next week. Oh, and you should probably think about moving out whilst I'm still here, so. swearing like that since I was a kid. Let's look on Craigslist for somewhere to stay. What? Boy, are you a real boat captain? Oh, you're the Yanks who called earlier. I thought I made myself quite clear. I knew it. My friend's granny sails boats in the bath. I've seen Titanic three times, sir. 
You're not staying here. No, no, no. We don't have anywhere else to stay. Not my problem. You're losers. Good night. We're film directors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Film directors. Yeah, yeah. Like we're directors. Movies. Yeah. Yeah, right. that makes a bit of sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We told you everything yeah, about yeah. us in the voicemail. Ah, yes. Let's see. You were kicked out of your last place because uh, Jason didn't approve of you running off with his wife and son. He was really immature. Can we please not talk about Rachel? It's still very raw. What's, come on, dude. What if we paid you more money? Mm-hmm. One week? 2000 What? I think you mentioned in your voicemail you're in love with some girl who's getting married here. Wouldn't want to miss that opportunity, would we now? 2000 Oh, okay, okay. Uh, we can give you 80 American dollars mm-hmm. and we'll give you the rest uh, later in the week. We just got to go to the bank and mm-hmm. transfer American dollars. Mm-hmm. You pay before Thursday? Mm-hmm. You yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. All right, fine. Come on. We're really not going to pay him two grand, are we? No, no, we'll just block the toilet and leave a day early. Do you want to stay or not? Gentlemen, no guests without permission. No touching the monkey or my surfboard. Okay, and no loud eating. It really throws me off. All right, to your quarters. Come on, quickly. And no stepping on the parrot. Okay. stepped on that parrot. I think you killed it. Now, the important thing to remember, this is very important, is do not embarrass me, okay? Or get in their way. You got that? These guys are the absolute best of their class, okay? The top bananas, the creme de la creme. And if any of you ruin this for me, I will not forget what that means. I will not forget that come bonus time. I will not forget that come Chris. (laughs) Up, Jordan? Jordan Barnes? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Richard Berkshire? Yeah. Yeah, hi. I'm Paul Go Fuller. Guys, these are them. <laughs> Say, yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm Paul. I'm the head of uh, Wingmill Restaurants here in Australia. I mean, originally from Miami, FLA. What? <laughs> Came over here when I was 18, you know, take over the world and do that. And, and I'm, the, I'm, I'm the guy, uh, Johnny Watson. I, I brought him. I got him here for the commercial week before grand finals. Yeah, me. I brought him over. That was mine. You know, the team, they were there, but really it was me and they were supporting me do that. Hey, 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 how's it going? G'day, g'day. Oh, I'm Brandon. Welcome, welcome to Australia. I'm the sound guy. So uh, if, you, if you need anything, just shout out. Got yeah. coffee, got coffee over there. Yeah, I think Beautiful we're good. Day for... We're good, yeah, we're probably good. Yeah, yeah. you good, can just good. go back to whatever oh, you're yep, doing. Yep, yeah. yep, sweet, nice. Okay. Cheers, yep. sir. Yeah. So, I'm so sorry about that, guys. I don't, I don't know what happened. It was... So, um, where do we start? What's up? Is this the windmill thing? Yeah. Yeah? You, you, you guys know what you're doing, right? Yeah. yeah. Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. It's Richard. Richard. Yeah. Paul, we did this already. <laughs> Paul. J-Dub, you good, mate? You need a massage? I got it. No, I got it. Yeah, I'll do it. We're Richard and Jordan from now on. Hey, I'm Emma, your first AD. Hey. Um, oh, you're... I'm Michael. Uh, with the... I mean, Jordan. Uh. Hi. Nice to meet you. Do you know Bridget? Uh, I don't think, I don't think so. Oh, damn it, Emma. 
Anyway, for your call sheets for tomorrow and your per diems, well, I hope it's okay. What's this? Per diems. I know, it's probably not like what you're used to in Hollywood, but 200 a day was all the budget would allow. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, and let me know if you need a lift to set tomorrow. I'm probably the least scariest of the crew to ride with. I've just got out of a relationship, so we're gonna have to pass on that. Thanks, Emma. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go set up. Nice to meet you. You too. How do you do that? Bridget, okay? You gotta focus on Bridget and then work, okay? So, um, everyone you know, just ask if they know Bridget. Okay. Hey. hey, so I've set up the 50 millimeter as you requested. Everything's set up just the way you like it and we're ready to go. Thanks. Um, look, Emmer, uh, why don't you take more responsibility today and be the director? Really? Yeah, I think you're ready. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd love to do that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jordan. Okay. Scene 20.1, shot 11, take one. Camera ready? Rolling. Yeah. Sam rolling? I'm going to the deck house, Michael. Action. Johnny Watson here. Right now at Windmill Restaurants, every time you buy a cheeseburger or a hot dog meal, you go in the draw to win one of these brand new cars. I'll be buying you a cheeseburger after the game. Cut. Yeah. Poor, seriously. Oh. You have me miss training for this? Me? That was Come awesome. On, man. What, you, you want a burger? <laughs> we got burgers. Um, one more time, that's it. I'm out of here. Okay, that's up. Yeah, one. We'll do one. Just one. One yeah. more. And then burgers. We got burgers. Good job, John. So, I finally spoke to Andrew in exchange for never coming back. Who's Andrew? What, does he know where Bridget is? He had no idea. In fact, he looked a lot like a security guard. Was he a security guard? Well, his badge said campus security, Dude, so I guess he... Why are you looking at a security guard? Focus. Oh, you boys are in for a treat. The captain's on her way. Oh, yeah. Dude, is your mind okay? Self-visualization podcast on pause. Clearly you don't know anything about self-richness. My girlfriend is teaching me the art form of visualization. Imagine. You have a girlfriend? Yeah. She's out of your league. You mean like a blow-up doll, right? Yeah, blow -up. Why would you dress up for a blow-up doll? Who dresses up for a blow-up doll? I do. I will sail the world. This guy's even weirder than your friend, Timmy. The guy who kisses the fish? Yeah, he works at the aquarium. I think he's my third best friend. Why are you even friends with him? He kisses fish. You sold me an axolotl one time. That's my second best friend. He's your, he's your first best friend. Come on, Michael. Oh, well, look at you, you sexy little dickhead. <gasps> ah! Who are they? Oh, sorry, these losers are uh, my housemates. For one week, on. <gasps> are they going to be here when we get back? Uh, maybe, but it's because I'm making so much money for us, well, for, for our young. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Jade. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jade. But you should see how much money I'm making. These idiots are paying me so much for our yacht, for us. Really? Yeah. That, that, such slobs. Yeah, I know. Look at the, that one. Yeah, yeah, he's fat in it. It's like my garbage can. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do I detect a foreign accent? I'm Australian, you idiot. I've always wanted to learn the art form of self-visualization. I just never had a good teacher. What? 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 Did you get in the car? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 Jack. Bye. Do you know Bridget Van Ryan? Richard, give me a bag. Come on, man, please. Oi. All right, easy, easy. 
Give me that! I don't have any! Oi, Richard, here, now. And put down this stupid thing. Jordan, let's go. So, anything you want to tell me, boys? No, Richard? Leaving set a little early yesterday, did we? Yeah, let me tell you how things work, OK? I paid you to direct my commercial for three days. Not two, not for a half one, for three days, OK? You pull that stunt again, I'm going to have you on an airplane so fast, your head's going to spin. You got it? You got it? OK, and just so you remember, I'm going to hold on your per diems today, OK? Suck on that. Johnny, this is Richard, co-director. Yeah, I met you yesterday already. Johnny, I need you to try and play someone likable. Listen, dickhead, I have a degree in business, and I make over eight figures a year on the field. Talk to me about it again, I crack your head open. Good. You're in character. Mm. Violent and aggressive nerd, I like it. I'm playing myself. Can I speak to you for a second, please? In private? <clears throat> so what? Uh... Who's the tireless sex offender in the car? That's my manager. Right. Listen, Johnny has a grand final next weekend. He's not going to do any of your stupid ideas that aren't in the contract. I agree. Good idea. OK? Yeah. Well, uh, do you want to wear my belt, sir? The girls like it, so. What are you even doing here? I mean, maybe this guy. Maybe. But you? You don't belong here. You look like you've been left behind a comic book festival. Hey, 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 come on, guys, fellas. When you're finished with that shit, I want you to come over here, cos Emma, she's ready to shoot, Yeah, right? pass your phone. I want to get a photo. The fat one reminds me of a cheeseburger left out in the summer too long. <laughs> right. I think you're all done, Angela. Thank you. It's OK. Almost ready for you, Angela. Amazing. I'm so excited. This is my first commercial. I, I can't believe it. And I'm starring with Johnny Watson. Yeah. Oh, uh, Richard, this is Angela. She's Johnny's date in the scene. Um, Hi. Can you just, like, explain the scene to her, please? Thanks. It says, I drive up behind Johnny and say, surprise, babe, I booked us a table at Windmills tonight. Jump in. Is that right? Oh, yeah, no, so we've had a lot, whole bunch of it. Hey there, guys. Johnny Watson here. Hey, Johnny. The only thing I love more than golf is going for a nice cold money. drink at the windmill restaurants afterwards. You might even catch one of our games on the big screen up there. I look forward to seeing you. See you shortly. Eat grass, dickhead! Johnny? Johnny? Oh, oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I'm uh, really sorry. <clears throat> That, um... Johnny. I might have changed the script. Yeah, but what do you think is going to happen to him now? Well, I don't know. Hey, okay. gentlemen. Oh, hey. Where are you guys hey. going? I, I was going to catering, so... I was uh, exercising. Catering. Yeah. Exercise, yeah. 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 That's not where you're going. Let me tell you where you're going. To the airport with me. It's time to call the dean, boys. No, no, no. Let's hey, go. hey, hey. what are you doing? It is done. No, no, no. It's over. No, we've, we've, we've got to do it. Actor we've, we've we don't got, have a commercial. We've got a replacement. We don't have a replacement. Yeah, what we've are you got a huge Hollywood about? actor. A huge Hollywood actor. Please tell me who this huge Hollywood actor is. Uh, Bradley Cooper. <laughs> He's coming tomorrow. Mm -hmm. He is. Michael was in Aloha. You know what? You know what? I thought that as soon as I met you, I yeah. knew I knew you from somewhere. He, he was. Well, I, I don't like you. He's really about good it. as well. Whoa. New deal. 11 a.m. tomorrow. I see Bradley Cooper on set, and you're off the hook. I don't. And I'm calling the don't dean. Don't call the boys. dean. Aye, aye, I'm Captain. I'm calling the dean. 
Good day. Okay. Hey, which way's catering? You're not a very smart man. We don't have Bradley Cooper. Well, I don't know. I wasn't in a film. Yeah, you were. Oh, oh. oh bro, bad news. You're not going to have kids. Uh, I wasn't in Aloha. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. Wait, I was in Aloha. No, you weren't. Wait, oh. hold on. Who is it? Oh, it's <gasps> Tiffany. Oh, it's her. Hey, anything? Girl, I found her address. The reason we can't find her before because she took her mom's she fell, name out to parents. She found where Bridget's getting married. Oh, yes. Where? She's going to get married tomorrow at 5 p.m. 105 Rose Bay Road, Rolaro. The only chance you're going to have is tomorrow at the wedding. Okay, tomorrow. Don't be late at 5 p.m. Okay. Got it? Who are you? You're the Who best. Are you? Who is she? She's my daughter. This is my daughter's yeah, house. Where's Mikael? Where's Dewey? What are you talking about? This is my daughter's house. Who are you? Oh, what Mikhail? are you doing Where's here? Dewey? Where's my rent? They don't pay rent in three months. Who is this stranger at our door? Don't in, talk in my country, like to my dad. you don't pay rent in three months, you end up six feet under. What? What? It's tomorrow. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm going to meet my son. Yes. Yeah. OK. OK. Um, OK, so. I'll go get you a tuxedo. Okay. I'll sort out Bradley Cooper. Yeah. And then we get our per diems and we get back to LA. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 All right. okay. Okay. Wait, where are you going? Get Mrs. Taylor. Okay. Grew up in Bondi. Born and raised. It's really nice here. Yeah, it is. What's LA like? Uh, we have like the the areas like Beverly Hills, and then the other areas like uh, where Richard and I grew up. Um, what's that area? Have you ever seen the show Cops? Yeah, I love that show. You know, Richard was on it. No. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, he got uh, mistaken for stealing fish tanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, did he at least get paid? No, but uh, he got tasered. Oh. Sounds like Richard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, interesting day, huh? You know, I cannot believe Johnny Watson. I mean, how irresponsible was he? <laughs> I can't believe it. You know, I think Johnny deserved it. He did, and I'm glad you said that. <laughs> I didn't know you skate. Yeah, do you? Yeah, I love to skate. Really? Yeah. Are you good? I'm all right. What about you? Yeah, I'm all right. Maybe we should skate together sometime while you're here. Hold on. <clears throat> I trust you can determine the ferocity of my tone. A large storm is coming. I need to find dry ground and a mate. Do not enter the apartment. I need to... Hey. hey. What storm? Uh, not a storm, just... Um, Who's... Something's going... That's just... Oh. Yeah, I've just... Um, him. Yeah, I'm telling, Again. I'm telling him to... Um, just to always out. here? Tell, yeah, no, yeah, I'm just... You, I'm, I'm telling does him he want to move in properly? No, 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 I'm just telling him to stay out. So, um, yeah, so me and you can spend some time. To get the... Don't enter. They seem... unique. Yeah, it's my, uh... It's my housemate Carl and his girlfriend. <laughs> Interesting couple. Yeah. You know, I'm actually having so much fun working with you guys. Really? You are? Yeah. Why? Just... You guys make me laugh. Okay. Okay. Did you maybe want to go grab some ice cream? I know a really good place on the beach.
So you were telling me before you once entered a dog competition at the local shopping mall <laughs> when you were just five years old? Yeah. So I had this, uh, this dog called Pipper, and the whole time in the show, she wouldn't come or sit, and then straight after the show, she was fine. <laughs> Clearly rigged. It was rigged. OK, I told you something embarrassing about me. Tell me something embarrassing about you. OK, let me think. Mm. OK, got it. So this one time in school, I wore my entire uniform inside out the whole day and no one even said anything. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that was will, pretty embarrassing. I would like to see that. <laughs> so what are your goals in life, Emma? Like, what do you want? Well, I really love being behind the camera as a director and one day, I'd love to make it to Hollywood, if I'm good enough. You're good enough. I hope so. You're really good. Well, what about you? I'm trying to, I'm trying to find myself at the moment. You know, like, I'm not quite there, but I feel like I'm getting closer. Just, this is just the first time I've been able to be myself. Like, it's, it's so beautiful. I'm having a really good time. You too. I can't. I gotta go. until midnight, right, Michael? Dude, and I quote, you said a huge storm is coming and I need to dry dick. Look, Jade, I'm really sorry. Carl, I just need to find Dewey, is he here? He's not home! No, Carl, I'm done! No, I'm done. Jade! Don't call me! Hey, puppy princess! Jade, wait! Get out! I'm just trying to find Dewey, okay? Is there Do you know how long it took me to get to second base with a girl? Your whole life? 42 years? I'm 28, idiot! Hey, look, I just is there any trace where okay. Dewey is? Okay. You've got one minute to pack your things and pay me the 2000 I'm just gonna go for a walk. I'll find Dewey myself and we'll see Okay, I'm calling the cops, okay? I want you out and I want my money now! Listen, no, look, I'm yeah, sorry, hi. dude. Dude, I'm sorry, okay? I'm yeah. sorry. Police. I'll do anything. What do you want? These two American Carl, guys. Carl, what do you want? Jade, she wants to be in movies and famous. You put her in your commercial. Has to be a speaking role. Yeah, I let these guys stay, but Co now okay, they won't Okay, leave. okay, okay. I'll do it. Just, I'll do it. What time does she have to be there? Uh, nine o'clock tomorrow. All right, it better be good. Hello. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's okay. I'm gonna stay. Dewey, today's the day of the wedding. I need you to go to set early today and write Jade into the script with Bradley Cooper. It has to be really, really good. I told them you're writing it personally. Oh, it's Michael, by the way. And I stole Cole's suit as well. Looks good on me.
I don't know, is this really important to the scene? Yeah, it's critical, yeah. And I don't see why it doesn't even make sense. You know, if Paul finds out about this, he's gonna freak out. He's a total control freak, you know this. Can you just help us out, please? Come on, just for today. Fine. Hey, have you seen Jordan today? Do you know when he's coming in? He's gonna be stopping a wedding today. It's his long last love after 10 years, so. He's a, he's a loyal guy. Hmm. Huh. No. No. Yes. <laughs> you want me to wear this? This in my big scene. What's the problem? Hey! What's the problem? Do you know what I did to get you this role in this movie? You're gonna be so good. You're gonna be famous in Hollywood. So, you know, just relax. Come on, enjoy it. When do I get my lines? Right after you eat this donut. Uh, does this look like I eat donuts? N admittedly, no. Pros do it, you know, they get the lines before they shoot the scene and then they just shoot it, so, you know. Oh, hey, look, Michael's here. Hey! Michael! Oh. They better be good lines. Michael! Hey! Michael's here! Michael! 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 Is Paul here? No, so I told him that Bradley Cooper has hemorrhoids and he's gonna be here at 11.30. We don't have Bradley Cooper. I got Bradley Cooper. Don't ask how I got him. So he's in the bathroom. Let's go. Come on, we're going. Michael, meet Bradley Cooper. It's not Bradley Cooper. Can I get my 20 bucks? It's not Bradley Cooper, that's some guy. What about now? I don't know, Dewey, that's a garbage bag. Michael, I tried really hard to get the real Bradley Cooper, but I tried two talent agencies and they hung up on me, but Nigel here, he works at 7-Eleven and said to do it for $20, so. Oh, and I, Put the sleeping tablets in Paul's drink, so. You're right, that is Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Richard, we've got a problem. The other actor in the scene just arrived and he's demanding to speak to you. He says you already know each other. He knows us? Oh, yeah. Paul. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Jason. How are you, man? You look good. Yeah, have you lost weight? Yeah. Oh, shit, you idiots. I told Marissa I'd be doing this as a favor to her. Once I finish my scene, I'm out of here. And I want to see either one of you idiots again. Do you understand me? You got it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, um, you didn't come with anyone. Mrs. Taylor? She... What the fuck are you on about? How about once I finish this scene, I take you around the corner and I'll give you a bit of a parting gift. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Jason. Yeah, I love gifts. Yeah. Michael, he's got the bottle of water with the pills in it. What? Yeah, the ones for Paul. What? They're in the bottle. Excuse me, are these Bradleys? Who's Bradley? I know Bradley's here. Can you actually take him that? I think he'll look great in that. And just tell him I'm ready to start the kissing scene. Okay. Guys, I'm so sorry for, for my behavior yesterday. I was Totally out of line. I just felt like you were uninterested in my work. You didn't understand my creativity. I don't know what overcame me. I almost didn't make it here today. I was so, so embarrassed for my behavior. And I went out and I bought my own headphones, my own microphone. 
And, you know, then Johnny lost a testicle. Who are you? OK, so I know you said not to go anywhere near the bathroom, but we film in 20 minutes, and I found this weird note under the door. When we're in the bathroom together, you said you would pay me $20. I'm not leaving the bathroom until you give me my money. Oh, that's for me. <clears throat> Let's go and uh, talk to Emma. Please. Oh, I'm more than just a sound guy. Help me become more creative. Show me what they do in Hollywood. I want to learn. Yep. All right. Action. Please, Doctor. It's important for the survival of the universe that I turn my husband into the cops. You see, my husband, he's a pervert. He's a filthy, dirty robot pervert. That's right. I am a dirty robot pervert who doesn't deserve his beautiful, lovely wife for Oh, look, it's Bradley Cooper. Bradley? Bradley. <laughs> Great job, everyone. That was awesome. You... OK. Hey, Bradley, let's take you to the trailer. Let's. Hey, done. I'll get you a bottle of water. What do you want? It's fine. It's good. It's not fine. What's great? What? What's that? Absolute rubbish. You told me I'd have a scene with Bradley Cooper. Guess what? That's not Bradley Cooper. That is Bradley oh, that Cooper. is not Bradley Cooper. That is Bradley Cooper. Look, he's just changed a lot over the years. I told everyone I was going to Hollywood. I quit my job and I bought a house in the Hollywood Hills. Oh, you still should. You were great as a sex robot's oh, wife. Now screw you. Time to make the donuts. <laughs> You really? Come on. Oh, oh. Let's go. Come on. No, no, really ruin an entrance. Yeah, yeah thanks. Nice. Appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Gentlemen. <laughs> hey, Paul. Hey. So, where's BC? He's in the bathroom. Hmm. Yeah. Um, can we get a per diems now? No, nah, I don't think so. What about now? That's a garbage bag. Yeah. Whatever, fellas. Enjoy. Oh my god. Wow. You called us idiots. Yeah. Johnny, what's the game? <laughs> hey, Johnny, this is for cheating on me. Please, Doctor. <laughs> I am a dirty robot pervert. <sighs> Yep. Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Hello. Hi there. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. No. Yeah. Do it. Just do it. Hi, Brad. I'm... Hi, I'm, I'm Bradley Cooper. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cooper? <laughs> Get me those boys. <laughs> hey, Carl, you OK? Jade called. She wasn't really happy with today. What? She was great as a robot. You guys can keep the boat if you want. I don't need it anymore. She officially ended it with me. Oh, I'm sorry yeah, to hear man, that, Carl. Yeah, too. I'm really sorry to hear that. We, we gotta go, yeah, though. But so, sorry, Carl. We gotta Wait, hang on, gotta go. You know, I was scared to be alone from her for a really long time, but in a way, I feel like, hey, I feel like I needed this. Good, because Free Willy Michael and I need a favor. Come on, let's go. Have my suit. Well, Michael's suit now. Where are we going?
I can't see Bridget yet. Dude, is that your son? That's an old lady, Dewey. Right, yeah. <laughs> Michael, give me the USB that Emma gave us. I don't want to sound negative, but we don't have an invite. Carl, we've got to go. You're wanted by the federal police. Listen, do you want to be the greatest action hero of all time? Yeah. You want to save the day? I think I do. Okay, Carl. I never told you this before, but I believe in you. All right. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah. I surrender! Ah! Alright! Come on, get the cops over here! It's not wedding, you pervert! How are you? Come here. It's me, Dewey, from high school. Yeah, so Michael, Michael's here, and he's Stop a the wedding. director now. Look, what? You can't marry him. Yeah, come in, mate. I love you. Yeah, join the club. Who are you? Michael. Samantha, we made a deal. No cheating before the wedding. Michael Chase? What are you doing here? Bridget. Oh, you're Bridget. I love you. What? I got your messages. I'm I, ready to get back together. I didn't send you any messages. I haven't seen you since high school. But I love you, and I'm a film director now. Michael. Oh, my god. I knew that voicemail was off. When we had that fight last week, I threw my phone into the pool. My new phone didn't have any of my contacts. I must have contacted this Michael. You just ruined Samantha's wedding. I honestly don't know who this is. Oh, is he our son, though? What? I want to meet him. No. Hi, I'm your dad. No, no. Let's go. I'm pregnant oh. to my husband. No. Michael. This, Michael, not you, you piece of shit. I'm your dad. Do you remember me from high school? We Get like... out. Oh, OK. Get out. All right. That's it. I'm calling the cops. This is getting out of hand. Mum was right about you. The wedding's off. Oh my god, again? Every time. Oi, we've just run out of beer. I've been out looking at places for so long. But everywhere I look, it points me back to you. Don't you say we got too crazy. A little mischief makes fun. You told me I was your favorite book. Was it true? Those good old days are worth looking back. There's one thing on my mind. Was it all fake love? It's a shame you guys have to go back to America. You're the closest thing I've had to real friends in a long time. You're a hero, Carl. Yeah, Carl, if you want to come back to LA, there's always a bed for you. You know, Bridget wasn't even worth it after all. Mrs. Taylor, on the other hand, though. Yeah, I never saw her, but I'm picturing, like, Sally Field in a bikini. And it's like Sally Field, Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. Yeah. What? OK. I guess. I knew you guys weren't who you said you were from the first day. How did you know? Because you asked me, what is this do? Pointing at the camera? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? Well, because you guys were so kind to me and you actually allowed me to have some sort of creative input. And because I liked you, Michael Chase. 
<coughs> hi. Um, hi. I'm Carl. Uh, I just thought you might want to say hi to me before you decide on Michael, because you're pretty. <laughs> well, it's lovely to meet you, Carl, but I'm pretty sure I've made my mind up on Michael. Yeah. Pickle. Still hurts. All right, you pervs. Wait, hey. Next stop, what? airport. You guys disgust me. Too many days in the darkness without a glimpse of the light. They're uh, sending us back to Los Angeles tonight. Maybe I'll just have to come visit you. I really wanted to kiss you more last night. First trip search before we get you on the plane. No. Damn, forgot my gloves. Pumpkin, pumpkin fucker. I bet you fucked that pumpkin hard. And it's gonna keep on fucking. <laughs> From the top of this section here. Good. Hey, Johnny, Johnny, you trying to block a holy? It's fresh. Oh, I can see your little Kavanasi. You can? <laughs> We're from America. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Good God. <laughs>